louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video where we have some more exciting developments to talk about at the racetrack. I've got a mountain of bunker blocks. There's 30 of them and I've got two more 12 and a half foot jersey barriers coming to finish this wall and place a few on the infield to protect our awesome infield uh, cone chasers, volunteer and staff. In the last video we did a whole bunch of seal coating and crack filling on the track and this was really good to do but when I was reading through the comments, I actually saw a comment in there that just said, why? Now, to be totally fair, I realized that the guy was talking about probably why seal coat and crack fill, but at first glance, I thought about why, you know, in the broader sense of why are you doing this, right? And I gave it a lot of thought. I didn't respond to it or anything like that, but there was one comment that stood out because it's something that will happen when you put stuff on the internet that will place doubt in your mind, right? It did make me wonder why, and I put some thought into it. And at the end of the day, this is one of those things where it's not a big multi-million dollar operation. It probably never will be, and I realize that. But at the end of the day, it's one of those things where if you don't do it, nobody's gonna. So this isn't perfect. I knew it was never really gonna be perfect, but it's something that I could build on over time. And our track record out here has shown that we can do it and we will do it and we'll continue to do it. We've had quite a few people travel from quite a ways away, you know, an hour, two hours that have been here multiple times, even already in our last two events. So it's pretty cool. I think it's a good sign that when people are coming back, you got something, you know, you're not paying people to come here. They're actually paying to participate. This is a functioning racetrack at the end of the day. I thought about it a lot. And recently I joined a Facebook group called something like abandoned race, abandoned and retired racetracks. And the amount of tracks that are closed on there, you know, over the last, let's say hundred years in the United States and abroad is startling. There's probably for every 100 or 200 tracks that have opened and closed, there's one still open is what it seems like. And that's anything from dirt track racing, you know, down all the way up to road racing and drag racing. It's all sorts of stuff. They've got karting tracks on here, which this was at one point. So uh, the comments of people saying you should host karting out there have not gone unnoticed and they're not um, maybe unironic. I guess maybe I'm saying that right. But yeah, I, I do realize that. And at the end of the day, karting is not something that I know anything about. It's not my world. And um, if people wanted to come out and kart or do anything out here, I'd be welcome to it. It'd be super affordable. I've had the chat many, many times over the last couple of years with folks that have been interested. And I'm not saying it, you know, to single out any one group of people or anything like that, but it's just the reality of it. Once the rubber heats, once the rubber meets the road, it seems like uh, things kind of fall apart because at the end of the day, this stuff is really difficult to organize and run. And it's also expensive, even if you don't own the place. You're gonna end up spending quite a bit of money for each show you put on and there's no guarantee you get that back. Every time you do this, it's a gamble. So anyway, I don't want to distract too much from today's video, but it's a topic that I have wondered about on many, many sleepless nights is why. Why are you doing this in the first place? Because, and like I said, I could really boil it down to a sentence. If you don't, nobody else is gonna, you know, uh, there's one place that's really cool. If you guys aren't aware of it's North Wilkesboro Speedway where I am aware that they got like a $18 million grant, I think from the county, I could be misquoting, I'm going off of memory. I don't know the detail that well about where the money came from, but they completely rehabbed. Don't hold me to it, I'm going off of memory here. I watched a whole bunch of videos on it a while ago. I binged it and I've been following it along. They got a great Facebook page you guys can watch and stuff. But anyways, that was a giant grant. No other big racetrack like that's gonna come back in such a big way without huge money and huge support. So this is something that I really like to think is every man's possibility. If you found something like this and paid what I paid for it, I mean, at the end of the day, you can do something and we've shown that. A countless number of friends and family, everybody watching YouTube at home, and especially our local sponsors have all chipped in a few bucks in a totally unsolicited way. There's been every sponsor we've had here has reached out asking about it. I'm not sending out emails or dropping off flyers or none of that. People wanted a sponsor, they became a sponsor just through a quick chat, maybe a couple emails, and it was done because they want to be part of it. It's uh, something positive. At the end of the day, without all those people helping, one person, you know, myself, would no way get this done alone. Just to recap, I realized that the person commented the question, you know, why, but at the end of the day, it's because it's worth it 
And if you don't, nobody else is gonna. Nobody's coming to save you. Uncle Sam isn't coming to save you. You're not gonna get a million dollars from Holly. It's just, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna keep grinding away. There's a lot of people out there. The vast majority of people that comment are positive and supportive. There's always a few that are click clacking away in their mom's basement doing nothing. And while they're doing that, you can be out here moving tires, which is what I gotta do now. It's not glorious work, but it's work that someone's gotta do. And I am just the right size for the job. So. I'm gonna glove up, start moving tires. We gotta bring these walls out a little farther so we can continue our fair line that way. And uh, we'll have a sweet spectating spot on that side of the fence where you can back your car or truck up, pop up a little tent canopy and have a shaded area and observe this year autocrossing in all of its glory and hopefully someday drifting right here, which would be a super good spot to watch. So I'm gonna get off my pedestal, podium, uh, rant box, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm gonna get to work. That was fun. machine picked it up like it was nothing you know like any small ones they'd struggle that high up and out that was cool this one <laughs> dude that's impressive so that machine picked it up like it's nothing it's like 100 horsepower but it's 12,000 pounds so it picks up one of them like it's nothing it was really cool to see so he's got two more there's one more on the trailer and we're going to continue right along the fence or the barrier line here and finish out the run all the way to the end of the fence. So we're gonna move these couple. We're going for about a 25 foot setback from the fence. And we got it all marked out all the way down here. So you can see the orange paint marks where it's gonna be. So we'll get back.
All right, so this is a safe space now for people that are chasing cones. We're gonna set up a tent in there. Should be able to fit like a 10 by 10 in that area. It's right about 20 by 20. You don't need to interlink them, but basically it's gonna protect any vehicle from just taking off and absolutely sending it through there. It's a form of positive protection. So we got two more barriers to go set. And that's gonna be about it, and the bugs are atrocious tonight. So we're gonna get this done quick and get the heck out of here because you can't even stand. It's unbelievable. So the idea being, uh, put those two there so nobody can just absolutely send it off into the uh, kind of entrance exit lane. It's a lot safer you know, than it has been. We'll keep improving over time. But we'll go do an outro and get the heck out of here because this is unreal. All right, sorry for abruptly cutting from our segment yesterday into what we got going on today. But like I was trying to say on camera, the bugs yesterday were worse than I've ever experienced in my entire life. I mean, you, you couldn't even breathe. But we finished out our barrier wall. We found another way that we can actually continue it uh, the rest of the way, which means back here are these stake posts, where these fence posts are. At the prior event, as you would have seen on Autocross 1.0, if you've been here or watched the video, this was all taped off because you couldn't go in here. It was not a safe place to spectate at all because, you know, if somebody drove off track or whatever, there's a little ditch line, there was these tires, which frankly tires really don't do much. They're more of a cushion against a solid object. They're not gonna stop something uh, alone. If anything happened, um, this was not a safe place to be. But what this means, now that we got all the barriers in place, is we can pull out all the fence posts along the road and cars can come on up in here and back up to the fence line. And what that gives everybody is a really good spectating area with a great vantage point of the whole track, especially when you're you know, up here on a truck bed in a chair. And uh, this is kind of what I've been envisioning. And they used to sit back here. So when it was a karting track, people used to sit up here too and their vehicles backed up to the fence just like that. But uh, it was not vehicular traffic and therefore much, much uh, less likely to run through the fence or anything. You know, a go-kart, you'd run into the fence if you made it that far and it's just gonna stop it. So at the end of the day, this is all completely necessary to operate with vehicles. They're just, they're their own uh, ball game. So we ended up setting 30 of these. They're about 4,000 pounds each, just under. The Jersey barriers are about 5,000, so they're less weight, but for the same distance, they're actually considerably heavier and they still interlink. People that uh, aren't familiar with bin blocks, there's a male and female side. It's actually linked like this, just to be considered male, female, and it continues all the way, so they're actually interlinked. So that's about that. Huge thank you to everybody that's been watching the videos lately. To everyone new that's been watching the channel, this place has came so far in the last two years, it's almost unrecognizable from how it was when I purchased it. It was basically Jumanji. I mean, if you look around, Robin Williams is still alive in here somewhere, if I had to guess, running around like Tarzan. At the end of the day, this is just another baby step to get where we're going. I can always use more barriers, and what that means is I can always spend more money on those, more seal coating and crack filling. Always gotta keep up with the grass. I can always build more buildings and put more infrastructure in. And frankly, it's a big struggle financially, and I see why there's a lot of people that just let racetracks close because at the end of the day this is not a money-making project it's just something that i'm doing because i love it hopefully this year i'll get to take the new project c5 corvette out for a few laps at autocross 2.0 you get to participate for once and uh play out here so anyways that's about it for today's video. If you guys want to support the track, please follow the Facebook page at the link in the description. If you really want to support the track, pick up a t-shirt, a hoodie, a couple of decals or stickers or whatever on our merch link down in the description. Everything is super helpful. If you want to be a super supporter of the track, share the video. That's all I got for today's video. Thanks all you guys for watching again. We'll see you guys in the next one.